See this? A familiar saying. Yet again, a group of conservative white men manipulating the system in their favor. It's nothing new. This is America. It's been happening for hundreds of years. We should be used to it, right? But this is a little different. This is especially egregious. This is this is perverse. Rolling back the clock. Georgia should be ashamed right now. But I will also say, with the way that this is being done, it's an act of desperation. Conservative white men, they, they, they feel it. They feel that their grip on power is slipping. It's almost like natural selection. And they can't really do nothing about it. They can slow it down, but they can't really do nothing about it. The uh, social and uh, political landscapes of America is changing. There's not been a Republican president that has won the popular vote since, since W's daddy, the first George Bush. People's, people's trust in the evangelicals is, is completely in the toilet, especially after the last four years. And what they fear the most, we have an influx of, of immigrants, which I welcome. I don't care. Let them in. Because in a few years, they'll, they'll, they'll be the new voting bloc. And as I said in the other video, the oppressed tend not to vote Republican. They just changed a lot. They just changed a lot into this Georgia bill. I mean, it's almost like we're moving back to the 60s. What happened is they Georgia turned blue. It's something that they never thought would happen. Oh, my God. The, the niggas are at our doorstep. So they sit there and they analyze every single thing about minority and poor people's voting habits this last time. Identify stuff that's specific to them that aided them in voting. And they... Chopped it off at the knees. But probably the worst thing that's in this bill is the fact that they set it up to where there's not one person who is the, has the final say. Like, uh, you know, when Trump called down trying to bribe the guy, they took that position away. So if voting results come out and Republicans who control the House and the Senate of the state don't like it, they can go in and just overturn it just because they don't like it. I would be so bold. I would be so bold to say that we are dealing with evil and crazy. And sometimes a mixture of both. Whenever you get people come out and say, Donald Trump is a man of integrity. I don't know right now, I'm dealing with a crazy person. I know I'm dealing with a crazy person. You are not, you do not have it all together. There's no way you have it all together. Everything that happened on January 6th, but everything that happened, all the information we had, I think it was yesterday, Trump came out and said, all he seen was mostly good Americans uh, uh, hugging cops and I guess singing Kumbaya. You are a freaking lunatic if you still follow this guy. But I do know this. That if all the minorities, all the poor people, and all the white allies join together and form like Voltron, a lot of this shit wouldn't happen. But they got us all fighting one another. It's by design. They count on it. And we never disappoint. I know a lot of people don't follow politics. A lot of people don't care about politics. But I'm telling you, this should be upsetting to everybody. We living in strange times. And see, this this is why this is why a long time ago, long time ago, I stopped arguing with people who say voting don't count. I stopped. And I absolutely understand politics and I know how the electoral college works. It's it everything is fucked up because you have evil, dishonorable, mostly white conservative men fucking with it. So that it goes in their favor. And also the corporate. The corporate clowns, lobbyists and whatnot, dark money. If everything was performed to the letter, a lot of stuff will work out. So that's why when, when, when people come to me these days and they say, voting stupid, I just mentally pick them up and put them in the box of indifference. Uh, it's not worth my time. I believe whatever. I become a deaf mute when I'm talking to you. I don't want to hear that shit. Elections have consequences. Voting locally is important. State elections is important. I don't know, man. And they talk about the last election was stolen. This is this is stealing. That's exact. This is. I was in the military twenty years. I've been to countries to where this type of shit happens. There's certain things about America that sets us apart from other nations. We're supposed to be the ambassadors of of, of democracy, free and fair elections around the world. Look at this. Look at this shit. I don't know how else to say it. I could jump up now, scream or. People cry, whatever. Most people will, but ignore it. 
because they only think about politics at the at you know the national level. But this is bad, y'all. Very bad.